hair too long and you're too anxious. It was a tough shoot. It really was a tough shoot. Uh, we, we came through it, bonded together, but it was a tough one. It was not easy. It was not fun at all. Uh, when, when, I, when I was running through the mine, if you remember right before Steele, um, you know, takes his life, I have to run through, you know, Tasso's getting ripped apart, Ralph gets his eyeball, you know, and I, I run through and I take out as many zombies as I can and I blow the door open and it just, God, I, I, I was, I, 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 I don't know if you guys are familiar with, with like a, the hamstring in the back of your leg. I pulled my hamstring, Ooh. I hit a zombie. And I have a whole nother life before I got into the into show business. And I, I threw a forearm at this zombie and the zombie went about 20 feet in the air. And at the moment I threw it, I pulled my left hamstring and I will tell you, Joseph who is not here unfortunately, it tells the story actually better than I do. I dropped my pants after that day, and my, the, ba the whole back of my leg was not black and blue, it was black. And I, I, I tore my hamstring. You'll never see it, because I, I powered through it. But, man, I'll tell you. It no. was, Terry's right, it, it, it was a tough shoot, yeah. but it, it was the bonding. Of, of, of all of us working together for, I think, it sounds so corny in a way, but the greater good of the picture, because there was a lot of nonsense that came afterward with, you know, certain people and royalties and residuals and all kinds of stuff that didn't need to happen. But, Showbiz stuff. But, yeah, exactly. But um, in terms of the cast and the crew, um, I still hear from Nikki Tallow. He called me on my birthday, Bamba. He calls me, and I mean, he, he was the head guy on Mr. Rogers. We all remember Mr. Rogers, right, Fred? And Nikki was the head, and he calls me on my birthday. He says, I just saw it, nobody says, I saw it on the, and, and it's just this whole feeling. I, I just, I can't describe, I, again, I've, I've never experienced anything like it. It's just such a privilege to know that however little or long I got left on this planet, somebody appreciates something I did. You know, yeah. it's just a great feeling. I, I thank you guys. I think we all feel that never, way. I never thought that it would, you know, continue on like this. And uh, it, like I said earlier, it's because of you guys, really. Without you guys, we don't exist. I mean, you keep it, you keep this alive, you know, and you pass it on. And I still like that bat that goes across the cave. Does anybody remember the bat? Oh, do you remember? Yeah. It was a fit, yeah. That's, it, that, uh, the bat. Uh, the, there uh, were many, coming. many bats in the, the bat. cave. Yeah. Okay. But this one remember how they moved? Right. They had strings that, that they would put to have the, the fake bat great. go across. And it would get stuck in the middle sometimes, in the middle of the day. Just it was it. great. What a great crew. The food was yeah. good, too. As good a food as good, good food, as good food as I've ever had at any show. Great food. You know, everybody always, though, enjoys George's movies, and to this day, uh, wanted to be play zombies. And um, I remember my uh, the head, I went to Carnegie Mellon University, and the head of the of the College of Fine Arts was a zombie. Yeah, that, <laughs> Opera Madonna. Some of the press was right. invited out to right, play zombies. Right. What was the band? You're in Pittsburgh, you got to be a zombie. That's right. There was a famous band that came, and they they came down on their tour bus. And for what, wait, it's letters, let, and you're a musician. RBQ. Thank you, there you go, Al Anderson, right? And NRBQ, yeah. Joey Spamp and I, that's right, you're right, it is NRBQ, because you're a musician, Mike, right? Yeah. You remember them? Great band, no, very, very well, yeah. Um, and they came down on their tour bus and, and oh, sure, I'll never forget it, because I remember asking, he got it right, that's right, and they got made up, because, George, I mean, everybody loved George. How can you not love working for George or being a zombie? You know? I think that still plays now. Uh, I remember they showed the movie for a uh, some charity event about a few years ago, and the younger crowd, all they wanted to know about is like the zombies and how they were made up and the, how they were a zombie and what they did at, in their zombie walk. And it's interesting how the, it's shifted generationally to a different appreciation. Uh, by some people, you know, but the die-hard fans, they, they know, it's like the classic, you know, in any genre or any part of the horror genre, the, the classic monsters, the classic, uh, you know, the classic. It's the